We're covering Colorado First at Six, teenagers making an emotional plea to lawmakers to help prevent suicides. They're working on ways to head off a growing epidemic of those deaths in Colorado. Our state does, has, does have one of the highest suicide rates in the nation. Yeah, it might surprise you to hear that they kill more young people than car crashes. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us live at the Capitol tonight. Sean, this is a real problem here in our state. Karen, suicide is the leading cause of death in kids ages 10 to 14 in Colorado. That includes elementary and middle school kids, which is why there are several bills this legislative session to address it. And for one lawmaker, it is painfully personal. I get a call from the school that my son has attempted suicide and I need to come to the school right away. He was nine years old. Representative Daphna Michelson Janae will tell you she's lucky. Her son got the help he needed. But too many Colorado kids, she says, are dying because they don't get help. And lack of confidentiality, she says, is a big barrier. Because why should I talk to you when the first thing you're going to do, especially if I talk about my mom, is then call my mom and tell my mom exactly what I said. She's introduced a bill that would allow kids as young as 12 to receive therapy without their parents' permission. Right now, they have to be 15. Some might say that by giving this right to kids, you're taking away the right of a parent. No, you are saving the life that needs help. 13-year-old Tegan Ferguson says sometimes parents are the problem. She was sitting on the floor crying with her hands around her neck. She was ready to take her life. I quickly stopped her. She told me it was because of her parents. But parents like Lisa Miller say if they aren't aware there is a problem, they can't help. Isolation is the key to suicide. Community is what prevents it. We need to give our youth the opportunity to have confidential conversations. That does not mean keeping parents out of the mix. Suicide is especially high in rural Colorado. The other bill sponsor, Representative Dylan Roberts, is from Eagle County, where the suicide rate is twice that of the state's. Roberts and Michael Sinjanae did agree to amend the bill to limit visits to three times before therapists must notify parents. Testimony ran so long that the committee did delay a vote on this bill, but I do expect the amended version to pass. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.